The state of Florida, headed by Governor Ron DeSantis, has been blocking some of the advanced placement courses that were put forward by the College Board. The College Board runs the SAT test as well as the advanced placement courses altogether. Now, some of their courses, you know, as, as it relates to African American studies, include sections on black queer studies, cultural appropriation, reparations, you know, positively in favor of reparations, and as they put it, the global influence of the Black Lives Matter movement. Of course, they don't label Black Lives Matter as the terrorist organization that they are. And so it makes sense that the state of Florida would say we're not funding that, we're not having that in our schools, and it has no educational value, all of which is what Florida has asserted. Well, the White House Press Secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, is complaining about that, and I really think we should take a quick look at this clip together and listen to her complaint, and then she goes, she goes off too on Florida for being basically anti-grooming. All right, so let's take a quick look here. Here. Yeah, thank you. What was the White House's reaction to Governor Ron Santos's education department blocking the teaching of AP African American Studies, uh, saying it violates Florida's new uh, state law and, quote, significantly lacks educational value? Does uh, the White House have concerns about this action by the DeSantis administration? So first of all, I want to be very clear, the administration does not dictate uh, any curriculum for local schools. That is not something uh, that we do here. But there is something that we do want to comment. It is, um, it is in in incomprehensible that uh, to see that uh, this is what uh, this ban or this block, to be more specific, uh, that DeSantis has put forward. If you think about the study of black Americans, that is what he wants to block. I mean, he only blocked the study of black Americans if you can equate the study of black Americans with the study of black queerdom and the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't think they're the same. I mean, maybe she's asserting that they're the same, but uh, no, they're not. Uh, y you can... <laughs> I mean, seriously. And you would think that they wouldn't want to just sort of racially segregate in this sort of way as well and have a, an all-black course, but I digress. Uh, and 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 again, these types of actions aren't new. They are not new from from what we're seeing, especially from Florida. Sadly, Florida currently bans teachers uh, from taking from talking about who they are and who they love. Okay, and let's pause right there. Yes, Florida bans teachers from talking about who they are and who they love. In other words, uh, teachers in Florida can't talk to your kids about the homosexual relationships that they have. Um, especially not particularly young children, which is what the Florida law that went into place a couple of years ago aimed to accomplish. That's a good thing. And frankly, even with you know a heterosexual relationship, do you really want teachers talking to their students about their love lives? I, I don't think we want that. Uh, I don't think that in general you should have teachers discussing you know what kind of appetites they have and all of this sort of stuff and yet that's what's been introduced into the schools at the earliest levels i mean it caused some degree of outrage when this first law in florida went into effect prohibiting uh teaching the, about this kind of stuff inside of schools even though the law was specific for those under third grade <laughs> it's, it's 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 amazing because they claimed that they weren't doing this, that there was no indoctrination of kids that young, that they weren't bringing up these sexual issues with kids that young. And yet, you know, they, they brought the law in to, to prevent it from happening, and suddenly there was outrage. Uh, let's continue a little, just a little bit longer. As we've talked about many times here in this briefing room, they have banned more books in schools and libraries than almost every other state uh, in the country. And let's not forget, they didn't ban, uh, they didn't block, be more clear, I want to make sure I'm using the right word here, they didn't block AP European history, they didn't block our, our music history, they didn't block our uh, art history, uh, the, but the state chooses to, to block a course that is meant for high achieving high school students to learn about their history of arts and culture. Okay, let's stop right there. Now, firstly, before before I forget, she mentioned that Florida has blocked or banned more books than any other state. Okay, but the books that we're talking about are those that are sexual in nature, that show how different sex acts are performed, that are inappropriate for children, and that in prior times, you know, would, would have been considered grooming and still are you know, to, to give a child this in order to sexualize the child 
which makes them more vulnerable to pedophilic action. Right? That's how grooming takes place. You first get the, the child more comfortable uh, with sex, discussions of sex with you, in this case, perhaps the teacher. And then from there, they, they, they progress, if you can call it that. Okay, so that's why they, they, blocked the, they blocked the sex books in school. Yes, you're right, they did. Um, and then it goes on about the courses that Florida allowed. They allowed an art course, they allowed a, I think she said, European history course. Yep, none of that is about hating your, fo your fellow man for anything. Whereas under the African American Studies course, which if you notice, she didn't really describe what was in it, you know, there you've got the cultural appropriation section. So how if you, if you use something of another culture, then you're doing something wrong, right? So a white person isn't supposed to wear the American Indian headdress or something like that. But the American Indian can somehow wear jeans. I don't know how it all works, but in any case, that, that's, that's the way that it is. And if you look too at the African American Studies course, I mean, they have the reparation section and so on. These are courses which would divide people, which teach them to hate each other, uh, basically to blame each other for their problems in the here and now as well, instead of just teaching history. It's vastly different from a, a study about actual culture as she implied that it would be. They're not the same. And she knows they're not the same. And so, yeah, congratulations, Florida, for, for banning more books, i.e. sex books, inside of schools than any other state, and for blocking this evil course, uh, as they should be. I mean, I think we should... The, the civics in in our schools should be a real civics course and they shouldn't be there teaching kids to to segregate themselves in different regards which is what this does you made it to the end you either really liked or really hated that video let's assume you liked it there are lots more that you can choose from and also you can follow me on gab and various other social media sites and if you are able to support the channel that's an option for you too there are links in the description below thank you so much